So welcome back to my channel. This is Gamer Dom, and yeah, it's shooting scoot again. I'm afraid uh, driving the Thunderbolt. He's a man that, uh, if nothing else, is somewhat obsessed um, <laughs> when he plays World of Tanks, and um, when he, he the new set of missions have just sort of um, kind of brought out the sort of obsession to a larger degree, and now he's just constantly trying to do each of the different missions. Now this, I believe, was the last. Uh, whoa, whoa, good start. Well done. Yeah. I'm so obsessed he wasn't actually paying attention to where he's going. Uh, it gives me a chance to talk about it. Don't worry, it's out of it. Uh, it gives me a chance to talk about this. So, um, he uh, has been work, basically likes to work through the line of. Um, is that where I'm going to help? No, he's just going to drive straight past. What a dickhead. Oh, so he actually just realised. Okay, I'll take the dickhead back. He's not a dickhead. He's just not very observant. Um, anyway, so yeah, when when Shoot decides that he's going to do a mission, the missions, he kind of just works his way around, uh, constantly doing them, um, and he can't stop. Uh, good job, OI. You're not a dickhead at all. Um, so he set himself the goal of doing the American British um, missions on this new set of missions and this is the first ones obviously um, and just has been continually playing them uh, and now I think the the last set on the American British one is um, you have to get a, a number of ace tankers um, now shoot decided that this was the easiest one to do it those in in the, um, the American tier 6 premium medium type tank the thunderbolt and i featured a couple of the games he did in it recently and that was all part of this run he's been doing of trying to um to get this mission accomplished now he's very good in the thunderbolt and that's why he took it and also it's not that uh, common a tank so as we know it's easier to get aces and masteries and what have you um in tanks that other people don't play or they don't play very well um, so sensible thing to, to go out and something like this the Thunderbolt is very good at um, and not many other people play it or are not very good so he was helping this OI out having to fire a bit premium and then he realized that the caps under threat from the um, um, I've, I, IKV sorry <laughs> momentary brain fade there and he's in a bit of a trouble here. Uh, there's enemy tanks coming in from all directions. Luckily the AK IKV was taken down by the artillery. Looks like the ELC was looking at doing a run on the OI. He can't leave the OI alone because if he does the OI will be swamped and died. Maybe a powerful tank at this tier but uh, let's get that. Oh I just can't. Uh, if it gets isolated it's in real trouble. Puts a shot into that 40 TP instead. Uh, he's got himself fixated on gold. <laughs> uh, he does this a lot to shoot. Um, he loaded gold for firing against the o, um, OI in the in the valley there, and um, has obviously forgotten he's got it loaded, and now he's using it when he doesn't really need to. 40 TP is made of paper, so is the ELC. The ELC appears to be trying to keep him spotted with proxy spotting, which is not a bad tactic, except of course. Both shoot and the OI are wedged right underneath his rocks. It's very hard for artillery to land a shell here. So he's not actually, although he's keeping us keeping us spotted, he's not actually helping the team a huge amount. I'm sure they could actually do with him coming around to the side somewhere and spotting from a distance and then, you know, so be it. Anyway, oh, misses the 40 TP. Still got gold loaded. Wow, bang. Takes a shot from the 40. Now you can see this rate of fire on this gun is fantastic. 2.91 seconds on this crew. That 40 TP didn't know what had hit him. Once he'd fired his shot, he had to just sit there because he was tracked. So we're on Tundra. Forgot to say that. We're already halfway through the game and I've only just mentioned that, but I think you'll recognise that map. One of my least favourite maps in the game, I have to say. Um, and it's been Circle the Wagons time. These guys have just almost back to back the OI and uh, they did have some help from the uh, French TD that was there but it's now dead and the Type 30, uh, Type T34 is sort of covering their back a bit um, but really they've just kind of tried to fight it out here uh, largely alone and done a really good job the pair of them 
um, helped by the team not really pushing that's <sighs> what we had him that's the trouble with using auto lock there right oh i uh, sorry elc is going in so that means we've got to help him out and there you go shoot returns the favor on being turned back over by that oi the two of them have, have formed a little friendship ah oh, a little friendship group isn't that nice it's gone back on premium again. It's 10 all. The game has come back round. These guys have just sat here and sat here, soaking up the punishment, taking it, giving out the damage, and doing a really good job. It was a. Uh, they were top tier. It was a tier 6 game, so 5 tier 6s, the rest tier 5s. But even so, you've still got to do your job. Um, the KV1 is down, so we can push that OI now. Shoot's got enough uh, hit points to be able to take a hit. If he can get in close, he's got a chance. I think he's waiting for the OI to come. I think he was just trying to see whether or not the OI was turning back right. Uh, OI's fired, so we missed the chance there. Could have gone for it, but hey. It is what it is. So he's going to go around the back, which is probably what he should have done to begin with. I think the ARL was saying, or somebody was saying to him, go around the back, go around the back. It took me, it took me a moment to realise who he was talking about. He was saying Snowball, go around the back. I think it was a fun, he was being funny about Thunderball. Thunderbolt, Thunderball, Snowball, I don't know, whatever. So it looks like, oh, the Archie's there too. Wow, okay, bonus time. So she's going to come around the back. Good map awareness using the uh, the fact that he knew that they were going to be coming and helping out. ROI has gone down. That's not good because now it's come all this way round, and the OI is now <laughs> unengaged. <laughs> Should have gone a bit earlier. Should have gone a bit earlier. Never mind. It is what it is. So, he is now last man standing against three enemy tanks. He knows where the OI is, um, doesn't know where the artillery is, and the uh, Strumpfwagen M, uh, the Steve 42, um, Strumpfwagen M42, the Swedish medium tank, is up around the north area, around where our cap is. He's obviously no slouch, he's got three kills himself has got three skills and the OI's got two so these guys are going to be problematic the, uh, the OI is following you got spotted by the OI wow did he just block a shot off his arse he did my goodness me he did blocked a shot off his arse wow and there was a the grill right he's got the rock between him and the OI Here comes the Steve 42 trundling back to help out so what's she going to do they know where he is, so there's no point in hiding. Um, no point in hiding the fact he's on their cap. But is he going to stay on the cap? I don't think so. This is when your, your sphincter gets a little bit more clenched, doesn't it? When it your last man against two or three tanks and you know that you've got a good chance of carrying it. He's still got plenty of hit points. 500 hit points. Mind you, one big hit from that OI could well shave quite a fair percentage off him. So he's going to circle around behind, see if he can get some uh, spotting. Knowing shoot, he's probably got coated optics, a very good view range crew on this tank. So I think he's hoping to outspot the Steve <coughs> and the OI. Mind you, that OI spotted him from quite a long way before. So maybe the OI's got some decent crew on it too. He's going for a drive in the country now. Speed this up a little bit. There's not much happens for a little while. Oh, does your eyes in. Ah, oh, there's the Steve. Mr. Steve. Yeah, he's got much better view range than that Steve does. Unfortunately, missed the shot on the on the guy on the hill. But that probably means that OI... Oh, sorry, that's um, Steve 42 is 
alone because the chance of the OI going up the hill there is pretty slim. So in theory you should be able to set up, set up an ambush for him. However, this gun doesn't do a huge amount of damage. It's only about 120 or so average damage. <clears throat> and if that uh, Steve is on quite high health, it may be an exchange we can't take. All these things you've got to try and work through. Now, if I was the OI driver now, I would be driving straight towards the enemy cap. Just to say, come on, take me on. And it looks like that's what Shoot's expecting. <clears throat> I think he thought. Yeah, I think he thought that's where the OI would come. He went to have a quick spot. Now he's got to keep a look for where Steve's gone. No sign of him. Oh, someone's on our cap. Is that Steve or is that the OI? It's the Steve. Nice. One, two. He's finally spotted. Can he get the kill shot? No, he missed him with the kill shot. Ah, oh, we got him anyway. This Steve got greedy, pulled back. Right, so it's 1v1. OI, stupid tank, against the Thunderbolt tier 6 American premium medium tank reloading the premium don't blame me for that it's uh, it's tough to pen and the ah the OI's on the cap too so the pair of them went for the cap it's just they didn't coordinate it enough that they both got on the cap at the same time there is the OI got spotted that oh I must have a very very good crew or coated optics maybe because he keeps spotting us from quite considerable distance I wouldn't have expected him to see shoot there quite as easily as he did now he's still spotted or not no yeah he's been spotted again trust into the fact that that oh has got a tough old shot from this distance bounces again bounces this time off the frontal armor of the OI as it's pulled back Probably the best thing to do is keep the engagement at distance because the OI's gun is not the most accurate. But it's going to be it's going to be death by um, a thousand cuts. Only just under two minutes left. Nicely done, gets around the behind. Can he get two shots in before he pulls back? Yes. Oh, I fired so he can push back forward again. Just couldn't get that shot away, which was a real shame. He knows he's got a little bit of time before the OI reloads. Going in a bit close and personal. Hmm. Probably lost his chance to get the shot away. Oh, he's pulling back round. KG game, right, oh I's fired, right, reload, go, 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 you can get at least two or three shots in here, one, two, getting close, circle, three, now we've got a chance, it's very, very um, rocky ground here, no, 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 one more, gosh, damn, that was close, did really, really well, would have had his, um, <laughs> would have had a little bit of uh, high blood pressure at that precise moment, well played, so I had a, <laughs> A slow middle section there in that game, but really, really well played by Shoot. Took the opportunity to get in when the OI fired. Um, was very, very lucky that the very last minute the OI didn't manage to plant a shell into his side, which may well have one-shotted him, um, but just managed to get the last kill shot away before he was able to fire. So that was an ace tanker. He got Bruiser. He got uh, Duelist, Fire for Effect. Uh, Pescucci's Medal for destroying two artillery in a game. Defender. Um, high caliber and of course top gun finished up top of the team 2047 damage six kills 1227 base xp um fired 30 shots hit with 24 penned with 20 um took three shots himself one of which penned two didn't 
uh, reset points, 100 reset points is nice. Um, lots of bonuses, which sort of counteracted the amount of goldified. <laughs> Naughty boy. Against the OI, I could understand uh, some of the other shots, not so good. Uh, 38 and a half thousand credits profit with the premium account would have been 15 and a half without and uh, 5,000 crew experience would have been three and a half without premium so there you go as I say that was uh, an epic fight at the end there took down the last couple of enemy tanks solo uh, and in doing so got the final mastery he needed um, to complete uh, British American um, the mission for the first uh, set of first first part of the first new lot of missions um so that would have got him a girly i guess um anyway hope you enjoyed the game if you did please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so in the meantime enjoy your games have fun try not to take it too seriously and i'll see you again soon this is gamer don signing out <laughs>